Hi guys in today's discussion of the book How I became a Hindu by Sitaram Goel we discuss Sitaram Goel's harsh criticism of RSS we are in the last chapter called Nightmare of Nehruism and he is pondering over his uh, newborn fondness for RSS and then his immediate disillusionment with the RSS and we'll see why now i don't know what was the situation back then and i don't know what's the situation now have they evolved or not because i'm not an expert on the history of rss or their political thoughts and evolutions but it was very interesting to read it was inevitable that as i tended to become more and more of a convinced and conscious hindu i felt drawn towards the rss and to its political platform the bjs both of which had the reputation of being hindu communalist organizations quote and quote I assume that what was being described as Hindu communalism by Nehruvians must be Indian nationalism I must confess that I was in for great disillusionment I discovered before long that except for some differences on the cow question the character of muslim invaders and the status of hindu heroes who fought those invaders these organizations shared the Nehruvian consensus on all important issues domestic and foreign The BJS was fast moving towards an all-out Nehruvian stance under the leadership of a pompous windbag who saw no reason to hide that he enjoyed the company of communists far more than that of his party colleagues. Here he is hinting towards former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Bajpayee. <coughs> When I expressed for the first time a desire to meet him, the secretary of the BJS told me in all seriousness that if I dropped dropped in the communist party office in windsor palace in any afternoon afternoon i would not miss him provided he was not out of delhi what was worse the rss had the bjs stalwarts spent almost all their time and energy in proving that they were not hindu communists but honest secularists my first contact with the rss had developed when i was a second year student in college and a devout gandhian One fine morning two of my classmates had descended on me in my re- room in, ho- in the hostel both of them were science students and i knew them only by their faces they mentioned my short story in hindi which had appeared in the college magazine and won a prize and harangued me to write on hindu rashtra they told me that they were members of the rss and prom- and promised to elect me as the next editor of the magazine as they had the majority among the students i had never heard of the rss so far and knew nothing about hindu rashtra The ideal for me was the Ram Rajya as expounded by Mahatma Gandhi. We met quite often thereafter. I drew a blank when I asked them for some literature which their movement had produced. Instead, they took me to the Vijayadashmi show which I have already mentioned. And the contact broke down when I found my new friends telling me day after day fantastic stories about Mahatma Gandhi. They were trying to prove that the Mahatma was nothing but a stooge of the Muslim League. and an agent of the amir of, of of afghanistan i had never heard or read such stories before and you must if you must know that in this situation and back in those days fantastic was not meant as a compliment fantastic was meant as something that was born out of a fantasy which was <clears throat> something that was unbelievable i am happy to note that in recent years the rss has revised its evaluation of mahatma gandhi and his role I can also see it now that those old stories originated in an agonized consciousness which had witnessed for years Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress refusing to be identified as Hindu but having no qualms about bargaining with the Muslim League on behalf of the Hindus 